Using text styles and creating colorful headings can really improve the readability of your documents for your people who are using them. And to do that, it's really pretty easy. You simply highlight the text that you want to change, and this is my title. So instead of just changing the size over here like I might have in the past and maybe bolding it and choosing a color, I'm going to come over here to the Styles menu, and I'm going to click on the arrow, and I'm going to just apply title. And now I have this title uh, created. And nicely, another feature is that if someone's using a screen reader, it will announce that this is a title before reading the title to them. So they will have the same cue that someone that uh, can see the title will know. Uh, otherwise, it would just read it, and they wouldn't have any idea that it was special text on the page. And the same thing will happen as you use the other styles. It really works uh, well for anyone using a screen reader, but it also works for those who are visually looking at your document. So this is a heading. This is heading one. I'm going to apply it. And now it stands out more, and you can really tell. Oh, okay, we're starting here with welcome. And then who I am, that's going to be heading two. And I'm going to apply that, and you can just keep going down the page. You can see that it adds some very nice spacing because that's what these headings do. They space it out for you, and you don't need to use those extra enter key uh, strokes that you've been using to space it. These headings will actually do a great job of that, and you can see now this document is making a bit more sense in terms of what goes with what, what are the important sections, where does one thing begin and the next thing end. Now, how do you make them colorful? Well, highlight uh, one of your headings. This is heading one. And go up to the Format menu. Choose Paragraph Styles, and you'll notice there's all those styles again. But there's borders and shading at the top, and this is where I want to go. Click on that, and I can pick a background color for that heading. I'm going to pick this gray green and apply it. And now I have a really nice clue that that is an important section. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go back to heading one and I'm going to update heading one to match that new background color. And then you can see the other heading ones on my page also updated to match that. I can do the same thing with heading two up to the Format menu, Paragraph Styles, Borders and Shading, pick a color, I think I'll pick this mauve, Apply, and now that also stands out in a way that's different from what we could see before when it was all just normal text. Because I need to update Heading 2 to stay in this format, so I'm again going to go to Heading 2 and Update Heading 2 to match. So now if I come down here in my document and I find a place that's another Heading 2, I can apply Heading 2 and I get that same highlighting that we had above with my name because I've updated Heading 2 to match. And this happens to be a Heading 1. And so now as we scroll through the document, we can see we have these great visual clues to see where one section ends and another one begins. I hope you find this helpful, and I know you'll have many ways to put it to use.